Today I'll be showing you how to create really cool stuff using text to image in Adobe Firefly. Hello and welcome, my name's Andrew Goodman and in my last video I showed you a bit of Adobe Firefly, what it could do and some of the things it will be able to do in the future. But in today's video we're going to be looking at one aspect, we're going to be looking at text to image, creating images, hopefully really cool looking images just using text prompts. So let's get into it. Here we are inside Adobe Firefly. It is the beta version. It's not the full version. It's still in trial mode. And at the minute, we only have access to two things, text image and text effects. In my next video, I'm going to be looking at text effects and that's a lot of fun. But in today's video, we're simply just going to click into text image click generate and if you're familiar with DALI 2 it's a lot like DALI 2 in many ways there's lots of images here on this screen and if you roll over an image you can see what that prompt will will be a modern house sitting on an island in a pond surrounded by mountains dash concept art and if you click into it you get four variations so i'll just click back and see what else cool stuff we'll have this here looks class koala in a hot pink astronaut suit and again you can click into it try pump and we'll maybe will because that looks pretty cool to see what else it comes up with and there is four koalas in a pink astronaut suit unbelievable and there's so many different variations and these are example images you can go in this here looks really cool a lemon wearing a headphone enjoying the sun at the beach brilliant look at this guy here toad practicing karate that is unbelievable here is a beautiful illustration and look at this for faces a hyper realistic portrait of an american family high resolution bokeh bokeh means blurry background and through here you can see that blurry background and that is absolutely stunning and that's us maybe back to the start you've got all these images in the background and that's really nice and if you want a way just to get a bit of a start of adobe firefly it's nice clicking into these prompts seeing how they were generated and then as you see there's four different options and at the bottom here there is a search box describe the image you want to generate and currently it's english only. So I'm going to simply write a cool koala wearing sunglasses and a hoodie generate and there we have it a cool koala wearing sunglasses and a hoodie it's a koala he's cool he's wearing sunglasses and a hoodie and you can see at the bottom here it's done in art form if you also go to the right hand side here you can also see it's done in art form and we'll start at the top right hand side aspect ratio the great thing about adobe firefly is it gives you so many options it's the best user interface for ai art generation dali 2 is prompt only mid journey is more or less prompt only we can go to the aspect ratio we can get landscape portrait square widescreen i'm going to go landscape and see how these images change or expand and look at that absolutely fantastic that is brilliant if you wanted to do something on social media you've got your stories mode you've got square for maybe facebook and different things like that widescreen landscape and i'm going to use landscape because i might blow some of these up big i like this one i think this is my favorite one and you can just click into an image as you can see we've got a few options we can download it here so i'm going to download that so that's our koala downloaded beside that we've got three dots we can submit to the Firefly gallery, we can copy the clipboard or we can report this image if there's something we don't like about this image. We'll also click here and show similar and I'll do that in a second because we'll also go left and right and we'll just go through the other photos and here he kind of looks like he's got two eyes going on here so that's not ideal. I quite like that one and that's probably my next favourite. But if we go back to this one, if we click this image of show similar, it's going to create another three koalas in a similar format and you're going to see it's fairly fairly similar and how well would you rate this result and we'll go thumbs up thumbs down we'll go thumbs up and thank you for your feedback and i'll not do that at the minute but we're gonna add feedback and seeing it's in beta version at the minute i expect quite a bit of feedback will be given and if you go over any of these images you get the same icons at the top and if we go to the right hand side now below aspect ratio content type we've got four content types none and really none if we click on none it's up to firefly itself to generate what it thinks is the best prompt or what we're maybe looking for it's a bit graphic a bit arty at the minute if we click on photo hopefully this will be really cool because it's going to show us what it should look like photorealistic we'll see how well it does it does look more realistic certainly the hoodie here looks very realistic and the fur looks realistic uh, i wouldn't be conned into thinking this was an actual koala wearing a hoodie and sunglasses and now if we click on graphic that's making it look a bit more like graphic really graphic and art it's quite similar so we can clear the style so it goes back to where we were we can change it before we look at more options we can come down to the bottom we can generate something else 
Frost, Kill Koala, wearing sunglasses, and we'll go for a red hoodie. We'll go into much more funner stuff later, but just to see how it picks up in these prompts. And there we have it. Not only has he got a red hoodie in some of them, he's got red sunglasses, and I'm kind of liking this guy. He's got a, a bit of a hat going on. We'll look at these other options, but to look at them, we'll maybe change it to something completely different. And donuts flying in the air on a colorful background with sprinkles. I'm looking forward to this. Might make me hungry. Look at those images. I'm not too fussed about the one with the pink background. I'm loving these th three and I'm not sure. I think that it's between the top two. I'm not sure what one I prefer. I'll click on this one. Absolutely love that. I'll download that. The great thing is when you download these images, the file type is the prompt you've used. If you forget what prompts you've used and what settings you've used, your file name will tell you. So we'll scroll down to styles and th this gets really, really fun. Again, Adobe Firefly, the user interface just makes it so much fun. We'll click on clicking all styles or it categorizes into subsections. So we'll go, go to popular, digital art, synthwave, palette knife, chaotic, neon, layered paper. Well, let me go to synthwave and you'll see at the bottom, synthwave is now, this tag is now applied to the bottom. We'll generate it and see what it comes up with. That is looking really cool. I think this one's maybe my favorite now. And we'll, we can deselect that and let's move, remove the tag from down here. We can go to movement, steampunk, synthwave again, vector wave, fantasy, a fantasy donut, hey, I don't know, science fiction. And maybe for this, we'll maybe choose something different to show off because donuts are donuts, you know, will generate something different. So the great thing about Adobe Firefly and all AI art, it really is up to your imagination, just how wacky, how amazing you can you can do things. I have went for a giant snail, slowly making its way across a field of flowers. The snail is wearing a top hat and smoking a pipe. We'll generate it and see what it comes up with. Now at the minute, apart from landscape, there's no content chosen. And look at those images. I particularly like this one. I was expecting the top hat to be on the snail here, but it's actually on a shell. This here looks quite cool too. And even this, but if, if, we, if we scroll down here and if we maybe make it pop art, we'll see just by changing the pop art what happens. That has completely changed it up. It's in this, it's the same kind of composition. It has just made it look like pop art. And that's movements. If we go to themes, pixel art, hyper-realistic cartoon vector look. So many different options. I really want to see what this would look like as pixels. Now it's very, it's uh, it's quite detailed pixels. It's not, I was expecting big, big pixels, but uh, if we maybe click into it, it is pixely, but not, not overly pixely. I have to say that one. I'll maybe make this 3D. And if we scroll on down, there's color and tone. So this is where we can get into a bit more detail again. I would maybe like it to be a warm tone lighting. We'll go for a golden hour. There's studio lighting, low lighting, golden hour, the composition, blurry background, close up. Maybe go for a close up of this and generate. And as you can see at the bottom, we've got all these tags at the bottom and we can choose, we can choose tons of tags. I think we can choose every tag we want, but don't know how well that would work out. And that is stunning. The golden hour and close up, certainly the, the warm tones and golden hour has made some of these images so, so nice. And the great thing again about Firefly, a giant snail, how about, uh, what will it go for? A frog in a field of flowers. And the frog is wearing a top hat. And oh, well, there is a few. I forgot about the, the pipe. This here looks as if he's smoking a pipe. I'll maybe take the pipe away because, well, that there looks like a pipe too. I think all of them. And that there is a bit weird, but I'll maybe uh, take the pipe out. Can I do anything else? A frog in a field of flowers. The frog is wearing a top hat. Generate. And there we have it. It's up close. It's golden hour. I'll maybe change the composition to more of a, a wide angle shot. And instead of 3D, and it really does look quite 3D. Let's go to techniques. We didn't look at techniques. We'll maybe go for a doodle. That'll, that'll be cool. Or hopefully it'll be cool. That is definitely a doodle. I think this on the top left-hand corner is my favorite. And we'll maybe try another style again. Just, I like to change things up. Let's go for something else. So we're just going to clear the styles. I'm just going to paste in a magical forest where the trees are made of candy. The leaves are rainbow colored and the animals are all friendly creatures from children's stories. Generate. I'm looking forward to this. I've taken away all the tags. I've cleared the tags. So fireflies coming straight from scratch. Whoa, look at this. This is some of my favorite stuff I've generated yet. 
Uh, I don't know what to say about this. I'm going to click into each of them and get a better look. Look at that. I, th I think this is my favourite. I'm going to download that and save it for another time. The colour in this is absolutely, absolutely fantastic. I'll maybe show similar to this to see what it comes up with. Again, stunning, stunning results. Oh, I'm not sure. I definitely like this one. Maybe this one too. We'll go to effects to see what's under effects. There's fisheye. There's, there's different things, different materials. Fur, layered paper, clay. Wow, fabric, marble. And then concepts. Well, this is definitely beautiful looking. We'll go to effects techniques we'll see what it's like as a watercolor and maybe i forgot about the, the of art and as soon as i click art i didn't even need to click generate it's just uh generating it by itself this is so so much fun oh my goodness oh wow look at this look at this i'm I, straight away i've clicked into this one definitely looks watercolored i'm gonna download that and let's see what what else we can change things up to if i click on all then it doesn't cut it, it just puts all these things in at once. So you can view them all very quickly. So let me change up some stuff here. Uh, definitely vibrant color. Lighting, dramatic lighting, composition, shot from above, narrow. Let me go for narrow depth of field. I've got beautiful clay, maybe. Yeah, we'll go for clay. And take away watercolor, minimalism, and again, all these tags are at the bottom. Generate. It's so exciting. Every time you generate something, you just don't know what you're going to get. It's like a box of chocolates. Well, my eyes drawn to this one straight away. And there is a clay feeling to it. Not too clay. Maybe that's because of all the colors. So at any time, you can click back and that brings us back to this gallery. Unlike Dali 2, Dali 2 always saves your prompts or it saves your generations. Firefly doesn't do that. So if you ask, if you accidentally do a prompt, you love it and you forget to copy and paste the text or you forget to download the prompt, it's gone. You're going to have to recreate that. So I'm just going to text in a photo of a person in a coffee shop drinking coffee. Let's see what it does for us. And this is interesting. It's made it as an art style, even though I've called it a photo of a person. So I'm going to click on photo and see in this is a new generation. It's made it square. I'll maybe put it back on landscape. And some of these are very, very impressive. At one look, would I know if that's AI generated? There's something funny here with the mouth. But very quickly, I don't think I would know again. There kind of seems a bit strange with the nose at the cup. The hand's not bad. Sometimes hands are a big issue with AI art. But that's very good. And this girl looks a little, little cross-eyed. Apart from that, if we, if we hit that eye and that's us back and we'll maybe change these things. A photo of a lady in a coffee shop drinking coffee, generate just to see what happens when we specify it as a lady and not just a person. Again, these are very impressive at, at a quick glance. That's very, very good. Very good. There's maybe something there with the thumb, maybe at the cup. She looks a bit awkward. That's like uh, you're you're in a coffee shop and you're being told to pose for a photo and you're just deer in the hail headlights. But there's something strange going on here. And that's very, very good too. There's little things that give it away. Her face and mouth is definitely not right there. But uh, just for fun, a photo of a cute furry and we'll go for green monster. Photo of a cute furry green monster in a coffee shop drinking coffee. Why not? Whoa, love it. Absolutely love it. This guy here is amazing. Let's click into them all. He's not drinking coffee, but he's definitely in a coffee shop. That there guy's loving his coffee. Absolutely loving his coffee. Don't know how cute he is with those teeth. And that, that's, yeah, that's a cute monster, not drinking coffee. And he's, ah, oh, he's, he's cute. Again, they've all got quite spiky teeth for being cute. Uh, we're going to have to change this up to graphic. We'll go to all themes and it's generating as soon as I change the style, but I'm going to do science fiction and that's generate some cool, cool styles there. Concept art, digital art. I'm just going to go a bit mad here. Boga effect. Can I make everything fur? Is that what that means? Nostalgic or chaotic? Both. We'll go 
muted color. We'll do dramatic lighting and shot from below, generate. Look at all the different tags we've got. I'm looking forward to seeing what happens here. So much fun. Not not a massive, it's not as big as change as I thought, but this is definitely nice. It's from a low angle and that's looking pretty cool. We will clear the styles and we're going to go for something a bit different now. Image of a steampunk laboratory where a group of scientists are conducting experiments on a giant octopus. The octopus has metallic tentacles and glowing eyes and the scientists are wearing goggles and lab coats. We'll just generate it as is. The only thing it's keeping is the aspect ratio. Can't wait to see what happens. Wow. I think I say wow every time something comes up. Look at that. Definitely in the form of an art style. Their faces are a bit messed up there. This squid's wearing glasses. And I'll maybe go into a sea vapor wave, science fiction, psychedelic, concept art, generate. It's brilliant. And there we have it again. So many different styles. I'm just going to clear those styles. I'm going to finish with a lovely image, or hopefully a lovely image. We're going to generate an image of breathtaking cliffs of Hawaii. The sun sets over the ocean, casting warm colours over the towering cliffs and clear waters below. And we're going to set this as a photo. And again, as soon as I hit photo, it's going to generate this. These are stunning. When you go up close, they look a wee bit arty rather than photo. But that is, look at that, the way the sun's hitting these back mountains and then this, this here mountain's in the shadow. That's it nearly flipped. That there is lovely. I'll maybe download that. And I'll go back. And if you're looking, if you're not sure what to come up with inspiration, go back and scroll through some photos, click on the photos, click on the prompts, and that will give you a bit of an idea what to generate. And if I just click back again, this video was all about text to image. In the next video, I'm really looking forward to that also. We're looking at text effects and it will also blow your mind. It is lots of fun also. If you found any value in this video, please give it a like. Please subscribe. There's going to be more videos coming on Adobe Firefly. AI art is so, so exciting. There's so much to it. I'm going to be exploring it. I hope you join me. And as always, thanks for watching. Hope you have a great day and I'll see you in the next video.